Massive air pressure systems dominate the Southern Ocean. Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan, thanks for joining us. We've got a huge area of low pressure and just next door to it, a massive area of high pressure. This is the big stormy low pressure going on south of Australia, bringing the windy weather along that south southern coastline. It's also feeding in to the warmer northerlies that we're getting in the New Zealand area, which are pushing our temperatures up above average, and we'll do so again on Friday, even more so than today, Thursday. And then next to it over here, a really big powerful high. Now they're sort of separated at the moment, they're not joined up. So it's not really anything dramatic weather-wise coming in for us, it's just more quite fascinating that you've got this huge area of low pressure south of Australia and this huge area of high pressure just southeast of New Zealand. So we've got a bit of rain coming in over the next few days. Here's the good news. The areas that have been flooded like around Ashburton and Nelson, Tasman, Marlborough, uh, Westport, those areas are not seeing much in the way of rain. In fact, Canterbury is looking fairly dry, only a couple of spits or showers making it over there for the most part. Uh, around Westport, you're only looking at two to five millimetres, so nothing to, to worry about too much there. Similar story in Marlborough. Nelson and Tasman, a little bit more rain there, maybe 15 millimetres. That's not very much, not something we would normally even talk about, but following the two recent rain events, even 15 millimetres might actually bring down a little slip here and there. So there could be a couple of isolated slips still, but hey, that's really only because of the rain that's been falling rather than what's coming in. Most of the North Island's looking fairly dry over the next three days. It's a three-day rain format. But the very top of the country, the far north, one area that really does need the rain, you might get about 30 millimetres on the way. So fingers crossed for you. Here is the setup at the moment. So look at this huge area of low pressure, 948, 948 hectopascals. Remember that number as I step across to this side of the screen, 1047. So there's a 99 hectopascal difference between the high just southeast of New Zealand and the low just southwest of New Zealand. That's remarkable. That doesn't happen very often. But there's this little area of high pressure in between the two. And it's a little bit like uh, when you're in the car and you've got two kids on either side fighting. The parent in the middle here is separating them out. So there's not going to be much of an issue with the giant low and the giant high next to each other, but it's quite interesting uh, more than anything. But look at the windy weather generated by this storm. All those winds still hammering the southern coastline of Australia. It's been doing that for a couple of weeks. But on the New Zealand side, it's warm northerlies coming in for Friday and the rain clouds, they're moving back to the places where they should be, like Fiordland and South Westland, and that's what you're seeing right here. As we get into Saturday, that rain brushes the top of the country, so the far north and the upper part of Northland. There'll be a couple of showers that will come further down into Bay of Plenty and Coromandel, but generally speaking, the rainfall totals at this stage don't look to be all that great. In the south, the rain continues around Westland and Fiordland, and the windy weather in Australia, that continues as well. As we get into Sunday, the low north of New Zealand, 993, worth keeping an eye on, but for th this stage, the high next door to it should just be keeping it off to sea, or off at sea, off out at sea, there we go, got it right. Uh, and there's a few showers down around the South Island as well that'll be moving through, nothing too major there. Notice how messy this is looking now. Not quite one big compact storm, but sort of a number of areas of low pressure. Well, guess what? That messy weather pattern right there is likely to linger right through the first week of August. So while we're talking about this warmer than average weather around New Zealand at the moment, and Friday will be several degrees above average in New Zealand, Colder weather is coming back in for the first week of August. So here is Monday, there's a sort of small little low pressure system coming through. It might be a little bit intense as it comes in with a burst of wind and rain. There's the cold front and there's high pressure next door to it. But the blue line that indicates uh, measures air thickness, but it also shows that colder, drier air is moving in towards New Zealand. And so on Monday, it moves into the south. And then by Tuesday, windy, sort of blustery weather continues for Adelaide and Melbourne and Hobart. But over in New Zealand, that blue line slides further up the country. And while it's not very stormy, the temperatures do take a drop. And it's likely to linger like that with sort of half the country in the colder side and the other half not across the first week of August. So that is the forecast. It's going to be pretty messy down here. This is all pretty normal weather at the moment, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, pretty normal for this time of the year, but certainly in New Zealand, warmer than average at the moment, but that should change in August a little bit. But it's still, to me, 
looking a little bit like an early spring, at least for the North Island. Maybe not everyone in New Zealand's got it. Not to say that we won't get a winter blast, but the day after day of consistent cold certainly has taken a break for the end of July. That's all from me. I'll be back again tomorrow. And by the way, Friday, uh, we'll be working on our Climate Watch update. That should be out by Saturday, the last day of July. That's all from me. We'll see you again tomorrow.